last kind of moment we want to talk about is this notion of a reaction moment. We'll hit this a little bit right now and we want to come back to it again when we do free body diagrams. But it's important that you understand that such a thing exists. When you're looking at an object, like for example, this guy, or any kind of flagpole, um, mailbox, anything stuck into something else, so that this is a firm support, and you can push on it, and it doesn't fall over. And you can push this way, and it doesn't fall over. The ground by itself is keeping this in place. So even if I have either of these two forces, the ground is able to counter them, even at a distance. So even if I push here on this flag, it doesn't just go over, because the ground can keep it from doing that. If I push down here, the ground keeps it from going down. But look at what's happening here with these two. If you have, let me get that out of the way. If you have this force and that force, those are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction with similar lines. That's the couple, if you think about how that works. And so is the red set of red arrows. These two are both, in fact, clockwise couples, which shows you that the ground has to be doing something else. It can't just be providing a horizontal and a vertical force. There has to, in fact, be a reaction moment. There has to be something to counter these two couples. After all, it's not that it's just spin forever. Equilibrium tells us that that does not happen. So the ground must be providing a, map, a moment all by itself, here at the ground. Now, this is only true when the ground itself is a single point. We're going to consider just this yellow object. The ground all by itself is resisting the tendency to move right and left, up and down, and to rotate. So that single point is resisting a, a tendency to rotate. That's different than if I have this beam that supported it two places. Two places like this, the beam all by itself is not going to rotate, but neither support individually is keeping this from rotating. So we'll, we'll see that again when we get to free body diagrams. But this is the third kind of moment along with applied moments or couples that would be given to you in the problem and any force acting at a distance. Those three things are what you add up in equilibrium to find the sum of the moments equations.